So here we are in December 2020. Guess what doesn't work again? So after changing the alternator about three times, the voltage regulator several times, the uh, alternator uh, drive coupling several times, so we decided to hop in the plane, fly it out to California to a shop that I was certain could actually solve the problem. Aberdeen traffic bands, the 7 Hotel Pop is departing runway 13, Aberdeen. So we're heading to Denver. Let's see if we can keep the electrical system working that long, and then from there to uh, San Diego to get everything fixed. That seems to be the only place that can do it. So far, so good. It's working. Incredible. Here's coming up, and the alternator is still working. So far, so good, but I mean, it's just crazy. Like, you know, nobody can find a problem with it. Now it works perfectly. Most of the time, it doesn't work. Yeah, now it's not working. So. Aberdeen traffic and the 7 hotel pops off at 13, departing to the southwest, Aberdeen. We'll give that a minute, we'll go back to Centennial. So I've got a few things just turned off to, it seemed on the way here that it was working a little bit better with the lighter load. I don't know if that's actually the case or not, it's impossible to tell. Just in case it is, I've got a couple things pulled. Seems maybe it's helping. Minneapolis Center, Bonanza 367 Hotel pop up. November 367 Hotel Pop of Minneapolis Center, Squawk 2676. You off uh, your airborne from Aberdeen? 2676, that's affirmative. We're climbing through 4,500 Bonanza 7 Hotel Pop. For 7 Hotel Pop, you're cleared to Alpha Papa Alpha Airport, Via Direct, climb maintain 10,000. Cleared to Centennial, Via Direct, maintain 10,000, Bonanza 367 Hotel Pop. 7 Hotel Pop, read back is correct. The radar contact 6 miles south of Aberdeen. Stay again, your altitude leaving, please. That checks, we're climbing through 4.7 for 10,000, 700 pop. Thank you. So we're going to fly IFR, even though it's perfectly VFR the whole way. We're going to fly IFR to Denver just to keep things simpler. And then I've got a VFR flight plan filed from Denver, sort of through, the, through a couple mountain passes to get over the Rockies uh, to Grand Canyon, just so that it's sort of a, a shorter VFR flight plan. And then I'll cancel that, and then I've got an IFR flight plan on file from Grand Canyon to San Diego, Gillespie Field. So I'll pick up IFR there. Again, just kind of for simplicity with some of the airspace, and so that the people I'm meeting when I get there know where I'm at. How much sodium do you think is in one serving, which is about three pretzels? So 43%. Yeah, one, one gram. <gasps> a gram? Like a paper clip of salt. Ew! No! Oh, They're vegan and cholesterol free. Just a lot of salt. <laughs> Coincidence that uh, the alternator failed as soon as I plugged that in. A little bigger draw. Maybe. November 367 Hotel Papa changed to my frequency 125.1. 367 Hotel Papa made the switch. November 7 Hotel Papa, thank you. Pier altimeter 2984. 2984. Capital of South Dakota. Uh, Most people don't know this, but it's pronounced Pierre, despite being spelled like Pierre. Well, so it's kind of crazy that like it's gonna be six and a half hours before I'm over. Shall we go for Rio, Yankee, Charlie, and Minneapolis, and Minneapolis, Colorado? Another yeah, how long is that? Three and a half Florida. hours from there, so it's gonna be like Charlie Golf, ten Yoko, hours before Romeo, I get to San Diego. Romeo, that traffic is passing behind you by about four and a half miles, no faster. November three six seven Hotel Papa, contact Denver Center one two seven point nine or five. Denver one two seven point nine or five, Bonanza seven Hotel Papa, good day. Yeah. Denver Center Bonanza 367 Hotel Papa 10000. Center 367 Hotel Papa Denver Center Roger. The Valentine altimeter is 2993. 2993.
2857 Limburg 4513, take care. And uh, Scott 4914, that's for someone else. Like, I'm pretty sure we've been talking to the same guy for like the last hour. Yeah. Sky with 4914, contact Denver Center, I'm sorry, Salt Lake Center, 124.35. Have you ever sat like this in the plane? Look at that elevation! And the alternate has been working for a while now, too. Oh. November 367, Hotel Papa, contact uh, Denver Center, 118.47. 118.47, Bonanza 7, Hotel Papa, good day. Denver Center Bonanza 367 Hotel Papa 10000. Denver 367 Hotel Papa Denver Center Roger Sydney out there 3001 more now old. 3001. I don't. 7 Hotel Papa routing. 7 Hotel Papa go ahead. 7 Hotel Papa clear direct stage and the stage 9 arrival to Centennial. Okay direct stage and the stage 9 arrival into Centennial 7 Hotel Papa. Nice little bit of turbulence here on the front range of the Rockies. So the alternator works in this, so it's not like turbulence or something, you know. Don't get it. From 11 Hotel Pop, contact Denver Approach 127, correction, 128.25, good day. Approach 128.25, Bonanza 7 Hotel Pop, good day. Bonanza 7 Hotel Pop, Denver. 7 Hotel Pop, go ahead. Number 367 Hotel Papa, the Denver approach, house number 3003, Whiskey's current at Centennial, plan the visual runway 35 right. 3003, we have Whiskey, we'll plan that, 7 Hotel Papa. 7 Hotel Papa, this is going to maintain 8,000. 8,000, and 7 Hotel Papa. 128.45, 7 2 Our 7 Hotel Papa, contact approach 132.75. 13275, 7 Hotel Papa, get in. Denver approach, Bonanza 367 Hotel Papa, 8.3 descending 8,000, heading 200. 7 Hotel Papa, Denver approach, afternoon, Denver altimeter 3002. 3002. Denver raises 01, flight of 3 is uh, established in the holding area for Broncos flyover. There's a flight of 3. Three Romeo, Julia, traffic's 12 o'clock, 3 miles, we're going to be holding flight of 3 F-16s at uh, 8,000. That's so cool. Three Romeo, where, Julia, uh, where are these 3 F-16s? They're doing 904, flight of 3 F-16s holding at 8,000, getting ready to go do a flyover at the Broncos game, that's pretty cool. Almost as cool as having the red, the blue angels. The red angels? <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Almost as cool as having the blue angels on frequency. Are the Red Angels like the communist version of the Blue <laughs> Angels? Maybe. <laughs> right, 7 Hotel Papa, turn right heading 230. 230, 7 Hotel Papa. Razor 1, what time uh, are you guys planning to fly over? Razor 1, current TOT is 202045 Zulu. Thank you. That's so cool. 20, so 220 and 45 seconds. 7 Hotel Papa, is VFR traffic, 1, one o'clock, 2.5 miles, indicates 8,400 maneuvering. 7 Hotel Papa, looking. Air check 240, turn left, heading 270. 270, subject 4. I don't see anybody. 7 Hotel Papa, traffic is no factor, flighting 270. 270, 7 Hotel 7 Hotel Papa, do you have the airport in Fay? Uh, 7 Hotel Papa, fair minute. Seven Hotel Papa, present heading until you join the final, please. You're cleared visual approach on way 35 right. Okay, present heading until you join the final and clear visual 35 right. Seven Hotel Papa. Seven Hotel Papa, keep your speed up to a four mile final, please. Contact the tower 118.9 or take care. Okay, we'll keep your speed up, tower 18.9. Seven Hotel Papa, see ya. Yeah. Two zero Zulu. Centennial Tower, Bonanza 367 Hotel Papa, visual 35 right. Bonanza 367 Hotel Papa, Centennial Tower, 1360 at 6, gusting 14, runway 35 right. Quarter land traffic, Cessna, left traffic is for the parallel runway. Quarter land 35 right, we're looking for the traffic, Centennial Tower. Okay, we wanted our speed up to a 4 mile final, now we're at a 3 mile final. Speed's good, nice descent rate, we can go ahead and put the gear down here in just a second. Now we'll go ahead and put the gear down now. Throw in one notch of flaps, and power back a little bit more. Traffic, 11 o'clock, low, one mile. Cessna, yeah, 2 zero Zulu, traffic, Bonanza, one mile, final for the parallel runway. Inside, 2 zero Zulu. 
Six one five Mike Sierra checking in for the visual three five right. Falcon six one five Mike Sierra Centennial Tower continue approach runway three five right track will be in position. Continuing five Mike Sierra. Centennial Tower, Skyhawk 9443 Lima over the Pinery. Uh, negative ATIS inbound for landing. Uh, 43 Lima. Cessna 9443 Lima, Centennial Tower, wind 3607, gusting 12. Fly to the east shore of Petra Zor, then northbound, and expect around the summit from there. Same altitude, zero miles. East shore, uh, 943 Lima. The 7 Hotel Papa, turn right at Alpha 13 and contact ground point 8. Alpha 13, ground point 8, 7 Papa. Okay, so we just got a bite to eat here in Denver. Got some fuel, gonna run it in pay. Rachel's gonna fly back to Rochester, and I'm gonna head to San Diego. I got the gear up while the alternator is running for a second. NASA 7 Hotel Papa, fly west, west fly 25, southwest on course approved. Okay, west, and uh, what was the rest of that for 7 Papa? NASA 7 Hotel Papa, on course approved. Okay, on course approved, 7 Papa, thank you. SB 286, turn right off on 9 ground for 8 Denver departure for NASA 367 Hotel Papa, climb to 37,700, off of Centennial. Denver 367 Hotel Papa, Denver approach, flight 0451, ident. 0451 in a flash, 7 Hotel Papa. Primary 01 Echo, traffic uh, 3 miles northeast of you, west on altitude indicates 7,300. Looking for traffic 01 Echo. Primary 7 Hotel Papa, clear to the class, Bravo claim is approved, contact approach 128.45. Okay, clear through the Bravo for the climb, 128.45, Bonanza 7 Hotel Papa, good day. Cessna 7 Sierra Papa. Okay, 9,000. 9,000 for Sierra 3705. Denver approach, Bonanza 367 Hotel Papa. 9,500 climbing 12,500. Bonanza 367 Hotel Papa, Denver approach, Denver Alt Service 2998. 2998, Bonanza 367 Hotel Papa. Okay, so we're going a little bit through the mountains. We're just kind of skirting down sort of this, the, the front range here. And then uh, I'm going to go through the Mosca Pass, which is 9,700 feet and surrounded by you know, terrain that's kind of tops out around like 12. So no, nothing too crazy today. And uh, there's no weather down that way. We were gonna go just kind of a little bit more direct, go over towards like uh, Montrose, go past Telluride. But now there are thunderstorms over there and it's a uh, convective segment. So we're not gonna do that today. United, 2049, so how was the ride? So some people will undoubtedly ask why I keep resetting the alternator. And basically what I've been told is that United 2049 thing that's causing it to trip the over voltage relay, uh, which is why it comes back. You know, it's not like the alternator is actually failing and the clutch is slipping or something like that. Um, it's probably just you know, that it, for whatever reason, is being turned off. So uh, I'm told it's safe to keep resetting it, and they'll figure out what the problem is when we get to San Diego. Oh, fun. Now there's some weather out this way, too. It is a 7 Hotel Papa. Reset transponder block 3721. That will get you flight following. 3721. Bonanza 367 Hotel Papa. Southwest 4546. Contact Denver Center. 128.37. Have a good day. Southwest 4546. Good day. Bonanza 7 Hotel Papa. I put your request altitude of 14,500 just for the mountains for center if you... Just so you know. 
7 Hotel Pop. Bonanza 7 Hotel Papa, contact the Denver Center 128.37, have a good day. Center 128.37, Bonanza 7 Hotel Papa, good day. Denver Center, Bonanza 367 Hotel Papa, leveling 12,500. Denver Center 367 Hotel Papa, Denver Center, maintain via far Colorado Springs, Altimeter 3008. 3008. And Denver 7 Hotel Papa, early heads up on some traffic, 12 o'clock, 17 miles south. Uh, Christian North, eastbound, altitude indicates 14,100 and descending, type unknown. 7 Hotel Pop, we'll be looking. Okay, so he's no factor. Start looking ahead at uh, AWASs up in here. November uh, 7 Hotel Pop, it's got areas of moderate precipitation between your 11 and 1 o'clock, starting at about 10 miles, 10 miles in diameter. And are you familiar with the terrain along your route? 7 Hotel thank you. Yeah, uh, that's affirmative, we are familiar. Of course, the tricky part on this flight is going to just be crossing the continental divide here. We'll be sort of threading some of this weather, but I think we should be good up here. Looks like most of that's off that direction for now. Got a little bit of weather. We got clear skies off in that direction. This stuff's all pretty scattered. So uh, basically, we're going to see what it looks like when we get up here. We'll decide whether we go through it, turn around, just wait for it to move. What? Definitely a, a day where we're using a sectional chart, that's for sure. I'm just going to hand fly. The wind's basically calm up here, so the only turbulence we're really expecting today is just from uh, some of this weather here. But there's no real convection around us here. There is some further south when we get up here, like down to Taos. But uh, Taos, I don't really know what it... Weather out there in the distance. Yeah, Center Bonanza 7 but how far ahead are you showing the uh, next bit of weather here? And there's seven hotel pop. I'm not showing anything out ahead. The only thing I'm showing is off to the east at your 11 o'clock and about seven miles, only about uh, two or three miles in diameter. Seven o'clock, thanks. And center beneath the seven hotel pop. Are you showing any weather about 12 o'clock and 30 or 40 miles? And there's seven hotel pop. Uh, let's see. What I'm showing uh, out at 12 o'clock, it extends to the southeast over towards 11 o'clock and about five, five miles moderate precipitation. Seven five things. And the stuff that's about 30, is that uh, moderate or is that lighter? I'm not showing anything there, so it's probably lighter. Yeah, the first that I'm showing uh, is moderate at 65 miles. Seven five things. There were three single mic when so that's the we're going for right up right there. The weather's just uh, beyond us. So we'll see what it's like when we get up now, there and right kind of get a feel for it. Go from there. So we want to approach this ridge here at about a 45 degree angle. So if we do get some updrafts and downdrafts there that we don't like. It make a nice easy turn away from the terrain back here to this nice open space and all the clear skies in that direction. So we got clear skies in that direction, clear skies in this direction. Uh, so it's really just a matter of go here. About 20 miles, we'll make a right turn here through that pass. And so we've been doing about, about 125 indicated, so that's kind of what we expect here. That's how we know if you know if we're maintaining altitude and doing something different than that. We got an updraft or a downdraft, things like that. So this is pretty cool. We're just going through this little gap, basically, right up here. Uh, pass. So we're really on the uh, windward side of this right now, at least, but just barely. I mean, the wind's about two knots blowing right through here. We could still easily turn around, but wow, this is just beautiful over here. Fall colors, sand dune, just all stunningly beautiful. Wow. Just incredible. This is just otherworldly. Taos? I don't know if it's Taos, New Mexico, or Taos, New Mexico, or what it is, but this is just so pretty over here. Oh my gosh. Mountain flying is a lot of fun. 
Yeah, there's a little added risk because there's there's just more going on. You know, there's a little less of a safety margin and things. Uh, but really, it's it's ultimately just about you know being a little more on your toes, a little more on top of things, paying attention to what's going on, what the wind's doing, what the weather's doing, what all of your options are at any given time. Of course, today it's pretty easy because there's weather in that direction. You've got clear skies in you know some large direction, uh, so that it, you know at any point we can just kind of make a turn and we're golden no matter what. Yeah. Okay. So actually, it looks like we can take a little shortcut here. We'll just go direct Gillespie. Kind of nice to go back. I was, a lot of really good memories at Gillespie Field in San Diego. It's where I first found this airplane. It started and ended my flight around the world. Awesome people, awesome airport, a lot of history there. I mean, there's several circumnavigations that have started from there. This really cool hangar community, just tons of awesomeness. Phoenix Approach, Bonanza 3670, Hotel Pampa 12500. There's just nobody out here. Nobody on frequency. <sighs> kind of sad. I mean, this is just such an incredible part of the country. It's 6 o'clock on a Sunday night. There's nobody out flying it. Beautiful weather. Center Bonanza 7 Hotel Papa. Center Hotel Papa, go ahead. Yeah, just wondering if uh, restricted area 2507 is active tonight. It is active. 31 and below remain clear, please. 7 We're almost at a half hour at a pressure altitude above 12,500, so we should just go ahead and start down. So we'll go down to 10,500. Yeah, Center Bonanza 7 Hotel Pump is going to descend 10,500. Number three six seven on South Papa. I heard you going on ten five. Thank you. Okay, just about there. Go ahead and swap out some sunglasses for some regular glasses. Let's try adding these back and see what happens. I mean, it's just sort of anecdotally stuff is. You know, seem to the alternators seem to work a little bit better when everything is not um, on. But I don't know. No, three six seven to Papa Eugene, clear of R twenty five zero seven north and west. Seven hundred twelve, that's safe, ma'am. Yeah, sorry, say that again, please. Affirmative, seven hundred twelve, Papa. Thank you. Hey, Matt, you vlogging tonight? I am. Bye. Well, we sent our frequency. Of 341, this guy is not a happy camper. A little grumpy. Can I take 367 on top, Papa? Can I delay center 128.6? 128.6, I'm going to stop tonight. Los Angeles Center Bonanza 367 Hotel, Papa 10,500. Bonanza 367 Hotel Papa, Los Angeles Center. The uh, thermal altimeter 2962. 2962. Damage at 842. Clear direct. Jerky. They're going to say so far so good, but there goes the alternator again, so who knows. Okay, latest weather is wind calm. Blue sky has 10 mile visibility. 2982. So pressure goes back up. Yeah, we'll probably land runway 27, right? Same runway I took off from and the same runway I landed on when I uh, flew around the world. Definitely seems like it's failing more now that I've got this stuff on, but... Hotel approach, Bonanza 367 Hotel Pompa at a 10,200 with Quebec. Last calling approach, say again. Yeah, Bonanza 367 Hotel Pompa is descending through 10,000 with Quebec. Bonanza 367 Hotel Pompa, so Cal approach, Roger, thank you for Quebec. It's been a long time since I've been into this airport. The last time I was here, I was ferrying a Bonanza out from New York. 
came in the same way a few hours earlier in the day. Previous to that, it was the other direction, over the Pacific Ocean and landing after a 16-hour flight from Hawaii, becoming the youngest person to fly solo around the world. Getting a little bumpy here in the descent, but we'll just bring the power back. Blow up a little bit. Basically, we go around that little mountain there to the left, and then it'll be uh, just on the other side a few, few miles past that. Go. Sky West, 5725, reduce speed to 210 knots, please. 210 knots, Sky West, 5725. Mahalo, 807, descend and maintain 8000. Descend 8000, 807. Skywest 4760, correction Southwest 4761, contact approach 12435. 12435 to Southwest 4761. Approach 70 Delpapa, you want us over to the tower? November 70 Delpapa, thank you. Contact Gillespie Tower. 70 Delpapa, good night. Gillespie Tower, Bonanza 367 Hotel Papa, about 4.5 to the northeast. No, the 367 Hotel Papa, let's try straight in, runway 27 right, clear to land. Straight in, 27 right, clear to land, Bonanza 367 Hotel Papa. Hey, Gillespie Tower, Cessna 483, Sierra Papa request for the frequency change. Cessna 3, Sierra Papa, frequency change, period, have a good day. See ya, have a good night. Cessna 73, Zulu, frequency change, period, have a good night. Cessna 73, Zulu, frequency change, period, have a good night. How'd you know, 73, Zulu. Gonna be right behind this little... That, well, that... And a big hill right there. Ah, <sighs> money. Love this, this is so much fun. This big hill here, so on the downwind, if you're on the, if you find like right traffic to this runway, which makes sense because there's parallels, this is the right parallel. Uh, you can either cut it in tight in front of this hill or just come around the hill and land. It's just it's so much fun. Okay, gears three green. It's coming back, props good, mixture's good. Okay, and then we go to the contact cell cover, traffic flight. Thanks so much for your help, what do you think we're doing? Good. We're on fullest tank. Now we're clear to land. There's nobody on the runway. No, just seven hotel pop. Are you parking at high performance? Affirmative. Yeah, seven hotel pop. A left turn in Delta two. Cross runway two seven left. This frequency high performance taxi via Delta Bravo. Cross runway three five on Delta. Have a good night. Delta two Delta Bravo. Cross nine right and three five on uh, Bravo. Seven hotel pop. Feels good to be home. This is where I first got this plane. This is where I started and ended the flights around the world. And it's it's just great to be here.